This is Into Math 3rd Grade, Lesson 9.2. Use mental math strategies for addition and subtraction. I can use mental math strategies to add and subtract with two and three digit numbers. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 246. We will begin under Build Understanding Part 1. You can pause anytime as needed. Scientists take photos in different parts of Yellowstone National Park to study bison migration patterns. How many photos do the scientists take in Pelican Valley and Gibbon Valley? Draw jumps and label the number line to show your thinking. And then we have this um, table here that shows the photos taken at Yellowstone and we have the subject and the number of photos. So let's review again. We want to find out how many photos the scientists take in Pelican Valley and in Gibbon Valley. So we're going to need to go to the table and find Gibbon Valley, which is here, and we find that there are 357. And then we also find Pelican Valley, and they also have uh, 233 photos. So our problem is really adding the photos from Gibbon Valley and Pelican Valley together. And we know how to do addition. You may be thinking, why can't I just add these numbers together? And you would be right. But our job is to learn different strategies. And so that's what we're going to work on today. So we've been instructed to use the number line and to make some jumps. So I'm going to start with the biggest number, which is the 300 and 57. That's our starting point right here. So we will start by labeling the first point on our number line 357. So taking a look at 233, I know the place value of these numbers. This is two hundreds, three tens, and three ones. So I will start by adding 100 to 357 and when I do, I will land at 457. But I don't just have 100, I have 200, so I need to add another 100. And when I add another 100, I will land at 557. Now I can take a look at my tens column, and I know that there are three tens or three sets of 10. So I will draw those three sets of tens and write the number that is added to the, the previous number each time. And when you make those three jumps of 10, you will find that you land at 567, 577, and 587. Next, we're going to look at the ones column, which we know there are three ones. And we're just gonna make a small little jump of three there. We don't have to do each um, individual. So we'll go ahead and add those three. And when we add those three, we find that we land on 590 as our final answer. And so we can answer the question that the scientists take 590 photos in Pelican Valley and Gibbon Valley. Let's take a look at part two. How many more photos do the scientists take in Gibbon Valley than Hayden Valley? So we're gonna use the same chart uh, that we had before, and Gibbon Valley is 357, and then we have, um, and Hayden Valley is 138 photos. So our equation is we're taking Gibbon Valley, which is 357, and we are comparing it um, to see how many more photos it had. So we're subtracting Hayden Valley's, which is 138, and that's gonna give us an unknown number, which I'm drawing as a square here. And so we have Gibbon Valley and Hayden Valley, and then we'll find the difference of how many more photos that Gibbon Valley has. And the instruction asks us to use that strategy of draw jumps and label the number line to show your thinking. And since we are subtracting, we're actually going to be moving backwards on the number line. So I'm going to start over here and write our biggest number, which is 357. That's the amount of photos taken at Gibbon Valley. And I'm going to just review again that um, the number of 
Hayden Valley's photos. It's 100, that's one group of 100, three tens and eight ones because we're that's how we're going to make our jumps so if you would like to pause this video and try this on your own and come back you're welcome to do that so the first thing i notice here is that i have seven ones and i want to take away eight ones well i have more to take away than what i have in my ones column so i'm going to start by just taking away seven from 357. And when I take away seven from 357, I will arrive at 350. However, there are eight ones to take away. So I need to take away one more. So I will make one little jump that says minus one. When I do that, I will land at 349. Now that I have taken away all of the ones column, I can take a look at the tens column which is three tens. So I will make three jumps of 10 and take away 10 each time from 349. And when I take the first 10 away from 349, I will land at 339. When I take the next 10 away, I will end at 329. And the final 10 away, I will land at 319. So I have now taken away three tens from our original number. Now the last part is to take away 100. So I will make one big jump of 100 and take 100 away from 319 where we are on the number line. When I take one big jump of minus 100, I will land at 219. And this will be my answer. So we can answer that the scientists take 219 more photos in Given Valley than in Hayden Valley. Now let's take a look at page 247 under Step It Out Part 3. Use friendly numbers to add mentally. Add 317 plus 45. And they're gonna walk us through how to do this. Um, so the first step is to say make 317 a friendly number by adding three. And when they say friendly number, they mean a number that is easier to add or subtract or to use. So the first step here, 317 plus three, you're welcome to pause and check your answer. When you come back, you should find that it's 320. Next, you wanna take that friendly number that we made, 320, and add 45. And if you'd like to pause and do the addition problem, you can. When you come back, you will find that it the answer is 365. And then we need to adjust the sum by subtracting three. And the reason we're doing that is because up here, we added three, but that wasn't the real number. So now we need to take that three away. So we take 365 and we subtract three. And you can pause and do that subtraction problem. And when you come back, you will find that it's 362. And so what is 317 plus 45? The answer is 362. Now let's take a look at part four. Use friendly numbers to subtract mentally. Subtract. 275 take away 149. So our first part A asks us to make 149 a friendly number by adding one. So you can pause and do the addition problem. When you come back, you will find that that is 150. And then it asks us to use the friendly number, which is this that we created, and subtract that from 275. So we'll write in our friendly number here. And if you'd like to pause, um, you can pause and then come back and check your answer. But when you subtract 275 by 150, you will get 125. Now it asks us to adjust the difference by adding one. And the reason we're doing that is because originally we took, we took that number and we added a one. So now we need to take that away. So we take the number that we, um, that we just learned and then we add one to that. And so we would get 126. So what is 275 take away 149? 
The answer is 126. As usual, you are always welcome to go back and rewatch this video and pause along the way anytime as needed.